assalamu alaikum welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video i'll show you how we can scrap the business information or product information from the individual pages directly from web page to the google sheet so friends let's start the main tutorial so this is the uh, this is the first part of the project that i have already show in my previous video if you still not watch my previous video i will give that link on my video description so that you can check this video now i will uh, i will show you how we can scrap the business information i mean product information from the individual pages for that i normally want to write the for example uh, i want to get this information and after that this kind of information okay in in that google sheet i have already made the link here okay if you click on that link you will see the uh, you will see the product information this is the individual product information uh, now what we have to write here uh, the same thing write the equal import xml because uh, this is our target link is now this one this individual link here after that write uh, i have write the import xml and the uh, target url then insert a comma then we have to write our export but we will write the export we will insert the export in our uh, this link i mean this cell for that i select the i select the cell here okay then this one okay as you see that this uh, this uh, we do as uh, we have don't as you have no export here that is on the below is uh, looking empty here now write the export here okay this is the export and for that i usually use the same one of my favorite tool the selector hub this is one of the favorite and best export generator and testing tool and this is the selector hub and i am already using the uh, paid version you already know and you see that this is the uh, export I, I i want to get here for that first of all we have to uh, we have to select that this is our div and uh, div class is exhibitor content and this is the h1 okay in the under the h1 heading one we have to get one for that we need to first of all we need to div because we need to because all the text under this div and for that write the double slash here okay double slash and you can also see the relative uh, relative uh, export automatically generated here so you can this is the export automatically generated we can also select this one okay we can also select this one copy this one paste it here okay paste it here and enter it and you see that one element found here this is the export we have found here but it selected the whole div here all the other text will automatically comes for this one but we want to get only the this this uh, business name here because this business is under this one and for that i write another slash and write h1 because enter because under the h1 tag under the h1 tag this business already exists here now i want to copy this export here and want to paste it here on that section i want to paste it here when you select the paste it you see that we have select successfully get the business name although you can comparison that this exhibitor content this export is not similar to the this export because page changes web web uh, structure changes that's reason the export is also changes now here you see that we have found for that one but we also want to get the name of for other link to that uh, one more thing we need to apply here here the export will be the same but the link will be changed to make anything fixed we need to use the dollar sign before this one you can easily do it by pressing the f4 from your keyboard and you see that before the column and cell a dollar sign automatically inserted now press enter and then after that select the left right corner right bottom corner and make it just drag it here okay drag it here and you see the magic here 
within few seconds we have get all the 10 business name from the that that all of the pages here individual link not this one you can check this one for example okay we check this one you see that this is the link we have found here 14 uh, 47 and main this one is 47 and main now i want to uh, extract the some other information from that pages here uh, i want to get for example directly want to get the street here the same thing i uh, want to apply the street here for that inspect element and you can see the inspect element here now the the same thing is happening here our inspect element is this one for example div is info block and then it is uh, we write the same thing is happening here okay we can write this one and we can get this one i want to write for example div and our div is this one this one okay info at block we see that when i select this one it is automatically changes here now just write it here info is block okay when i select the info block our targeted div is selected now from this div we need to we need to get our targeted text for example for that we need to get for example this one so we write again p we can double slash okay we can slash i want to uh, show you more clearly so that you can easily use this one okay so we can double slash p we can write directly the p okay oh, sorry uh, we can write the p here when you write the p you can see all the uh, relatives all the relatives export is automatically suggested by the selector hub okay insert when you select all the p is selected after that we need to get the span class and it classes we can write this one okay span we can write the span okay and four element you see that i want to make everything more clearly so that you can check this one so uh, this one four is four element selected and we need to get span class is flex this d one okay we have our class this one is the class okay right and class span class okay this one so directly it comes here okay directly it comes here and when you write this one span class and this one span class you see the magic is that i want to tell you is that when you are whenever you write anything this selector hub will automatically show you the targeted export for that exact text this is the magic of the selector hub now just copy the export from the selector hub then want to paste it here okay want to paste it here and the same thing write the formula equal import xml import xml and this will be our target link okay and then this will be our export but it will be fixed then enter when you write enter you see the magic it is just scrapping here so within a few seconds we have got all our targeted data here okay now i want to uh, now i want to get the phone number from this one this one is one important thing so the same thing is happening this is the phone number and for the phone number you will see the when i select the phone number it is automatically comes the phone number here but uh, the the problem will be here that i want to explain here that i have already written one export and this will be i just write one to export import xml i want to show you something uh, the more important then you will see the difference between this one okay right export now here you will this will be the fixed this will be the fixed okay right here fixed now i want to write export i have already written export for to you so that i can show you this one is the general export we have written for you okay sorry this one is the uh, general export uh, sorry 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 actually 
um, this is this one is the general export we have written for you i just want to make it uh, more okay then you can see the difference so here one more thing i want to explain that we have found the phone number for all of that but for that we don't found the phone number i want to show you the difference i first of all i want to open this link or this link okay Th then you will understand the process so when we open these web pages you see that phone number is in the fourth line okay you see the phone number is in fourth line and for that section okay for that link this phone number is in the three line that's reason it's not capable to scrap the phone number for this one this person I, I mean this link and using the selector hub because this export is uh, using this way but we actually need to modify the export more clearly so that we can get the export for all this one and for this for this i have written the export so that you can understand or so that we can grab all the phone number for this one and i am i am explaining this one okay so for that uh, we have to write the right export for one uh, this one will be in line three this one in line four but we have to write the export more sincerely so here the export is four but every every uh, line i mean every line contains the corporate phone and after that it comes so here also the same thing corporate phone comes and here also the corporate phone comes so corporate phone is a common thing that we need to use here and for that i want to write the export this way so you see that this is the spun class and this is the spun class okay this is the spun class that we have found here spun class okay spun class one and now what you have to do this is the spun class four but we have to use some use that for example we don't need to use the spun class for that okay i want to you see that look at the export here then you will understand here uh, you see that uh, spun then contains one more thing spun corporate contains dot this one contains dot this one all of the uh, relative i mean all of the relative you will all of the relative export you can easily find here so first of all we have to use the spun okay then i can choose this one okay we can choose this one okay i just want to write this one corporate span contains because this span contains this one but all of the thing is not exist here i want to make delete this one okay i just want to i just want to keep this one and delete the phone number here because each page contains the separate phone number but only the corporate thing will be same but the phone number will be different that's the one the same thing will be keep here and other thing will be deleted then click ok and you see that one element matching here now i want to copy this export ok from here and paste it here ok paste it here and when i insert this one you see that we have found all of the phone number for all all of the pages okay so this is the awesome feature of selector hub and using this export system we can find anything any kind of export from any kind of pages so friends this is the main difference uh, that i wanted to explain in this video how we can generate the export or difficult types of export for any kind of uh, element or any kind of text to scrap data from web page to google spreadsheet directly i hope you understand the difference or importance of selector hub to generate the export for your targeted text so friends you if you think you have learned something new and this video is is little helpful for you 
please share this video subscribe to my youtube channel and of course if you need any kind of help about export generator or selector hub please comment on my video or you can directly contact me